Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to color correct your videos in DaVinci Resolve. So I'm using DaVinci Resolve 12 but you should be able to follow along in previous versions as well. So first of all I'm going to drag my clip into the media pool and then here at the bottom I'll click on edit and then I'm going to drag my clip onto the timeline to automatically create a sequence. Just pull that to the front and then we're going to go to the color tab here at the bottom to get to all the color grading and color uh, correction tools. So the first thing um, that you want to do is you want to change your scopes here at the bottom and make sure they set to parade. And I just find this the easiest way to uh, to balance out the color in your shot. So this is not color grading, this is color correcting where you're basically just correcting the colors of the shot. So if we look at the shot, let me just make it full screen. Um, you can see it's the, 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 the white balance was obviously not set correctly. This is way too warm or way too orange. Um, and I'm going to quickly show you guys how to fix that. So if you look at the parade, you can see there's a lot more red or the red is higher than the green and the blue. And um, a really easy way to start, if you go to your primary wheel, see at the bottom, click on this drop down and set this to primary bars. Then you've got access to your red, your green and your blue. So I'm just going to reset that again. So what you want to do is you want to push down the highest color. So in this case, it's red. You want to push that down bring the blue up a bit, bring the green up a bit as well. So let's see what happens. So I'm going to take the red and just push it down a bit and the blue, I'm going to pull it up a bit and I'm just going to try and balance it out um, something like that. And I'm only looking at the middle section of the scope. I'm not worrying about the top or the bottom at the moment. I'll show you guys how to fix that soon. So just try and balance it out something like that. That's, that's looking pretty good. And um, then we're going to go back to our primary wheels and here we're going to use the lift, the gamma and the gain. So basically your lift is the darker areas of your image. Gamma is basically your midtones and gain that will be the highlights in your uh, image. So here you can control the, the bottom section, the middle section and the top section uh, separately. So what you want to do is um, you want to try and get your the bottom section of your footage as close as possible to black. Obviously it's not going to be exactly the same for every uh, situation but in this case we've got some black in the image here at the bottom and then we've got the sky which is probably a little bit blown out so if you look at the scope zero is 100 percent black and right at the top you've got your 100 percent white so we want to try and get this as close to black as possible um, so i'm going to use this wheel here and if you basically slide this around you'll see that it's going to take the bottom section of your footage and just drag that down closer to black so you're going to drag that down and now you can see that our blue is actually closer to the black um, than the red. So we want to push the blue up a little bit so it balances out at the bottom as well, if that makes sense. So on this lift color wheel, I'm going to push the blue up, okay? So just pull this towards the blue slightly. And if you keep your eye on this area, you can see that the blue is kind of being pulled back away from the black. And try and balance it out. Obviously, if you need to take away some green, maybe pull it more towards uh, this way, opposite uh, direction as the green. So I'm just going to pull that, try and balance it. That's a bit too much. Maybe something like that. And then I'm just going to use this wheel again to pull everything closer to black. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And now what we want to do is we also want to try and push the top section of the image closer to white. And we're going to use the gain to do that. So basically you're going to use this wheel, slide it closer to the top. And as we get closer, you can see that the red is a little bit closer to white than the green and the blue. So we want to pull the red back here. So what we're going to do, we're not going to slide this towards the red. We're going to slide it in the opposite direction. So towards this area here. So I'm just going to take this and slide it down. As you can see, that red is actually dropping down a bit. And then we can use this wheel to push everything closer to white. Okay, so that's looking pretty cool. And uh, then we can give it some contrast, just a little bit. And let's look at the results. I'm going to go into full screen with uh, Shift F. And as you can see, it's looking pretty cool. And then I can toggle with Shift D. That's the before. You can see it's very orange, very red. And that's the corrected image. So it's a huge difference and uh, really easy to do. And obviously you're going to do this first before you're going to add your style or your color grading to your uh, video clip. 
Cool, so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick color correction or color balancing tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this one. And also remember to click on that subscribe button if you want to be notified of weekly tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching. Do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheers, bye.